Hello everyone, it's GigaBeef here and today we're going to be deciding which fuel to use in our hideouts. There are two different kinds that we can use but there are a bunch of different crafts and barters available that makes it all kinds of confusing and the info here will also change as the flea market prices move around so do bear that in mind when making the choice yourself. Firstly we have the metal fuel tank which is a little bit more straightforward. These hold 100 fuel units and there are a couple of barters which will be more useful later on into the wipe. However, at the moment, it's the cheapest to grab them from the fleet directly. These have been slowly trending higher as they usually do, going to around 93k as of the time of this recording and will continue to do so until they reach Jaeger 2's price of 167,000 rubles. The two propane tanks and two fuel conditioner barter at Prapor 2 is super broken at the moment because you can barter one fuel conditioner for an MP5 drum mag which is required for gunsmith so these are through the roof in terms of price. Normally they go closer to 40k which is the trader price for them at Therapist but this will happen eventually after people get past this task. The six Pevcos for a metal fuel tank are a new barter at Skier 3 in this patch which might be interesting if you can get them cheap. You'd need to have them at about 15k or less for it to make sense at the moment and there is a new craft for Pevco in the Nutrition Unit 3 for 5 Rye Croutons, 3 Kvass and a Purified Water which may make sense later on but again we'll have to leave this one on the back burner for the moment because Purified Waters are as much as 145,000 per piece. Finally we have the other old barter of 12 classic matches and 5 hunting matches which is almost never worth it because it's just too many of each item and it's hard to make cost effective right now since it's still about 180k so even more expensive than the Jaeger cash purchase. Next once we've used the fuel we can do something with the cans to hopefully make some money. With the metal fuel tanks we can either make grenade cases or flechette cartridges. For grenade cases prices are flying all over the place but using screw nuts at 17, bolts at 40 and metal spare parts at 18 gets us to a cost of 321k assuming that the fuel tanks are free at this stage. You also need a pair of metal cutting scissors but as this is an auxiliary item now it doesn't get used up so we won't count this kind of tool in the calculations. Unfortunately, grenade cases go for about this on the flea market at 340k, but remember that without Intel 3 we're also having to pay 58,000 rubles of fees, so overall it's a small loss and you'd be better off just selling them to the traders for a pittance. If you can grab the ingredients lower than this, then it might make money, but as we'll see in a second, I think flechette is a better option. For a kite gunpowder at around 14k we get 120 flechette back and they sell pretty well on the flea market as one of the preferred shotgun cartridges these days. Bear in mind that they can range from 700 up to 1.3k each but using 900 which is a relatively reasonable figure will make 94,000 rubles but have to pay off another 406 rubles of fees per cartridge. This comes to 49k for the 120 flechettes, taking our total profits to 45k per cycle. Still not bad and better than making grenade cases. By the way, if you enjoy my content and are looking for more, I co-host a weekly Tarkov podcast called Scav Talk. We delve into various aspects of Tarkov across updates, progression and technical topics, some of which even end up as videos here on the channel too. The link will be in the description below and we post every Monday on YouTube, Spotify and all other major platforms as well. Expeditionary fuel tanks are a little bit more complicated. They also have some initial barters, which again don't really make sense to do, but we still have the four pineapple and a super water barter costing about 165k right now versus the flea price of around 60. You can also craft them with 10 zibos and 10 crickets, which is around 120k, but on the plus side with this one, you can sell the empty cans on the flea market once you're done to other players, which can sell for as much as the new cans, up to 60 currently, which makes it borderline, but then you're giving up time in your lavatory, not making something else, which could be making actual cash. However, once we're done with them, we can turn them into magazine cases. This takes two empty tanks, four bolts and four screws to make one and with the prices from earlier we get to a total of 228k. Magazine cases sell on the fleet for about 320,000 currently providing 92k of profit but again don't forget the flea market fees of 47,000 which takes our overall profit down to 45k. This is pretty good although there is another craft that we could do after this that we need to look at first. If you save up your magazine cases, with three of them you can make a lucky scav junk box. Along with six bolts, three keck tapes and five metal spare parts, after eight and a half hours you can then sell this for about 1.3 million on the flea market. 
If we craft all of the mag boxes at a cost of 228,000 like we said before and buy all of the other parts this comes to around 1.15 million for a profit of 146k. Unfortunately the flea fee for one of these without Intel 3 is a cool 192,000 so you end up actually losing money doing this craft too. So overall on expeditionary tanks I think you're better off just selling the mag boxes that you end up with at least until the price comes down a bit on the flea market. There is one more strange barter that can be done with empty expeditionary fuel tanks which is if you have 5 of these and 5 pistol cases, at Jaeger 4 you can barter these for a weapons case. Pistol cases themselves have their own barter at Therapist 2 for 6 piles of meds and 4 disposable syringes so you can either do that for around 142k each or buy them directly off the flea market if anyone puts them up lower. Altogether, and assuming that we have empty fuel cans now that cost us nothing, this is 710k, even cheaper than the 1.15 million that you get by using 10 bitcoins with mechanic rather than selling them due to the price being so low. However, this one only ends up being worth it if you actually want a weapons case. Because it is a barter, you're going to have to actually use it as selling it to the trader for 551k doesn't make sense. But if you do decide to go down this route, then it's kind of equivalent to getting 88,000s worth of value out of each empty fuel, and way more if you consider that the actual weapons cases are 4 million on the flea market instead. It's a bit of an endeavour, and obviously you need Jaeger 4 to make it work, but it's an option. So between our two choices, we have metal fuel tanks with flechette and expeditionary tanks with magazine cases. The metal tanks were making 45k per cycle versus the expeditionary tanks with also 45k, so which is better? In this instance, the fact that expeditionary fuel tanks only have 60 fuel versus the metal fuel tanks 100 makes them more valuable. For the prices involved and the same profit, expeditionary tanks cycle through faster, meaning that you'll make the 45k more regularly than with the metal tanks. This is equivalent to 75k over the same time frame as the usage of a metal tank and so on that basis we probably should be using the expeditionaries. This is still the case when taking into account the full picture including buying the tanks in the first place we can see that the overall original costs, profit and relative cycle times comes out in the favour of the blue version still. The most important thing to remember here though is that both of these are very sensitive to the input and output prices, most importantly the cost on the flea market of the original tanks themselves then the flechette and magazine cost respectively, and finally the bolts and screw nuts that make up the magazine case craft. As more players level through to get flechette on their own, which comes after forest clearing for Jaeger at trader level 3, and don't need mag boxes anymore, both of these prices will come down steadily, at which point we'll certainly have to look at the costs a second time. Next up, go and check out this video for some insane barters to reduce the costs of your modded weapons. Otherwise, as usual, big shout out to all my patrons, hit all the buttons if you enjoyed the video, and as always, have fun in your raids.